and gentlemen, welcome to the Councilman Now podcast. We are live for Australia Day. Happy Australia Day, Bluey. Um, something we're going to talk about today in depth is the Australia Day uh, debate, if you will, change the date, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I expect that left wing Blue will make himself well known. Yeah. No, nah. um, how he's going? It's good, good to see bro. you, good bro. Yeah. But we are live every single week on Patreon. But we thought we'd go live to everyone today. So make sure you check out the Patreon. It's a dollar a month. Uh, Bluey, mate, welcome back. It's What's our mean? first time in a couple of weeks without a guest, so it's good to have. It's good to uh, it's just, just the, the boys. boys, just the fellas. Bit of boy time. Someone actually said on the Patreon the other day because we posted up our video with Lee Priest, which was a great podcast. What a lunatic! One of my favorites. You should listen to that. Um, they they posted uh, a thing and it said, oh. I wish they'd just go back to doing videos with themselves. I was like, mate, we did. There was. It's been a week. Like, fucking chill out, People bro. just can't get enough of the boys. Can't get enough of the biz boys. How good? I, I tell you what. Lee was fucking ridiculous. Mate, he, he was, was great. A, he was a gun. Yeah. He was hilarious. Great guy. Like, I'm very surprised some of the things that he has lived through. And very open, just talking about everything. And I saw his dick. I saw his dick. He showed it, like, us it was like 10 minutes into the podcast. He was showing us photos of his like throbbing member. I wish more guests would do that. Yeah, it should be like a prerequisite now. Anyone we're going to get on's got to got to get their doodle out. I'm just going to share the uh, the old thing. <laughs> what the photo of Lee's dick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Please. Fucking, um, um, what's been happening? Mate. I saw you in Sydney for the. Well, we went down and we because uh, I um I do some videos for the UFC and we went down uh, to interview uh, Volkanovski. Um, Alexander Volkanovsky and Islam Makichev. The boys. So they're fighting in Perth, which uh, thankfully I'll be at. That's with, soon. With little Dicky. Early um, Feb? Mid-Feb, early Feb? Yeah, I think it's, when is it? It's uh, middle of middle of Feb or, nah, 11th or 12th, I think it is. Mm. So we went down to, to interview them and just to have a bit of a chat to them. And um, I was fine interviewing Volk because I've done that a couple of times. I was wondering how you'd go with Islam. Because <laughs> Islam's from Dagestan in Russia. The Dagestanis. And so we, we drive down and I've got a whole list of questions, <laughs> some like serious ones, and I went in with uh, a game to play with both of them because the UFC wanted a game. And I don't like doing the games. I take myself seriously in these things. I know but, you do. Uh, they wanted to do a game. How's Islam's sense of humour? He doesn't seem like the funniest dude ever. I made him smile. Did ya? Yeah. That's impressive. Can we pull up a photo of Islam at Makichev? Because there's this one face that he pulls all the fucking time. All the Dagestani dudes are the same. They're just like, we're just here to kill people. Like, so they're not. He, yes. L like, literally, that is. See, um, see that, that face? One, the one, the white one. The white with the white <laughs> that's background. <laughs> that's literally how he looked the entire day. So. It was very, very funny. I it would was... imagine you just be like, so Islam, how are you enjoying Sydney? And he'd just be like, <laughs> so we went down and that's uh if you go down that's where we went and we went down to see oh that's oh, funny nice one, Gabe. um yeah so that's that's that was no that was the face click on that that is the face yeah uh it's taking its time to load that's so great this is exactly what we were we were dealing with so islam makichev is a dude that you know comes out of fucking dagestan and all they do is is wrestle that's all they, they wrestle bears all they do is wrestle like, that's where so he was um he was Khabib Nurmagomedov's uh, protege. protege, basically. Yeah. So uh, we went down, talked to him. He's undefeated in the UFC. So is Volkanovski. So it's a big, big fight. Volk's going up about 10 pounds uh, in weight division. So he's going up a weight division uh, from <laughs> featherweight to lightweight. And uh, and I I think Volk can definitely win because Volk's looking good. He's this looking guy's big. a psycho, though. That is his face. He pulled all... <laughs> Fucking day. I don't think he pulled the face. I think that's just his face. Man, and so <laughs> that that was how he, he went all day. It was so crazy. I don't know if the Dagestani boys are too big on the media training. I think nah, they just feel like we're just here to wrestle. <laughs> the poor prick. He had... I'll, I'll get They'd in. hate that I'll, stuff. I'll, I'll tell you why that was his face all day. I'll tell you in a sec. So we get there. We film with Volk. Have a great time. Volk's have, the man. Have a laugh. Volk is the man. He does his own like cooking series and stuff Cook, on YouTube. Cooking with Volk. Volk and with Volk. Looking bigger, looking great, looking fit. Uh, he waltzes in. Good to see you. It's funny, though, because we were there with the other media organisations. So it went like uh, Lad Bible, ESPN, me. Butterfield. <laughs> are you there on behalf of the UFC or are you just like freelancing? Uh, well, a bit, I, a bit I basically both. work for UFC Fight Pass. So that's cool. sort of how it works. That's mad. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, by the way, Gabe, got to get that video off to him. So hurry up. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, that's and why, like many other media outlets, we've been so quiet on the Dana White situation. Yes. <laughs> just like everybody else. Just like, oh, I've been watching his slap fight and that's hilarious. You should go check it out. Um, there was a great bit in that video where like he said he loved the weather and you're just wet as and you're like, yeah, real good weather. And Islam just goes, rain. <laughs> rain. <laughs> rain. <laughs> just like this weird little smile. It was so that video will be out soon, but yeah, no. Um, Dana White's slap fighting the the um, the competition that's coming out is amazing. Looks to watch. insane. It's insane. People are even uh, they're upset about. I saw like all these uh, comments about people going, "Why would you bring this out? It's dangerous. It's 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 like mate, the whole the whole thing. It's what they do. Fucking dangerous. <laughs> um, so great yeah. bit of marketing from him slapping his miss. I shouldn't say this. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> Great bit of marketing. Oh, the poor bloke. He was well. You shouldn't do that. And he said he said he shouldn't do it, but he, he shouldn't have done it. And he's copped it from everywhere. And you should see the comment sections. They're fucking roasting the poor. And he's still doing fuck it Friday. Yeah, he just he's, <laughs> he's just rolling with just it. Just plowing on. But but he did. He made a good point in his video. He's like, what do you want me to do? Step down for a month? What does that do? You know. And then people in the comment section were, oh, well, should should his wife step down from her job? Like. Yes, I mean, she did hit him. Yeah, so it's a whole fuck situation and uh, I'm on Dana's side. So moving on. Moving on. <laughs> so we went down with Vol. Well, we got some slap fighting. Oh, yeah. So have a look oh. at this. It's insane. I, I, oh, she did a fucking flip. Is this Dana's um, one or is this like... Yeah, this is Dana's new thing. Oh! It's so good. I love it. Like, look, have a look. Like, they just... they So they have... They tell the person how many like practice shots they're going to do, so like golf practice swings, and then they just hood us. So this is power slap. Jesus, they're not they're getting Born. knocked unconscious. Road to the title, yeah. Do you think it'll catch on? Oh, yeah, I I, I think so. People love watching this. Can they train for that? <laughs> you just slap the bag. Is it like a you know Happy Gilmore when he's like three hundred and fifty six more days to hockey season <laughs> and he like just goes in the hockey <laughs> nets and just keeps getting drilled? I don't know how else you prepare yourself for that. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, they they, they definitely could train for that somehow. But uh, yeah, it's it's a cool little sport. Uh, but anyway, so we get in there with Volk, ask him some questions like about the fight and all that type of stuff, and then we play a game with him about doing uh, guessing uh, rhyming slang. Nice. I, th I thought of it after. Um, after well, because you use it all the time, and I thought because be <laughs> I talk complete shit all the time. You talk complete shit all the time, but the game I had for Islam, <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> was guessing, um, was guessing uh, Australian sayings. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so things like mozzie. Yeah, uh, like what's a mozzie? Yeah, uh, and there was another one. Dry as a dead dingo's donger. <laughs> <laughs> was he like what the fuck's going he on just, yeah, he just goes what <laughs> <laughs> that's really good yeah that'd be good content it is it'll come out soon i can't wait to see it um so <laughs> so we do the we do the interview with volk and how's this so the espn lad bible and all that type of stuff they did their own interviews no one came in with them like no one went into the room but when i did mine everyone came into the room to watch who else like, like all of their, all of their, oh, ESPN their group, and everyone, everyone came to watch. So I don't know if they were like waiting for me to slip up or see if I was weird. Or Probably maybe. waiting for you to like waiting with their camera phones for you to do something and just ruin everything. <coughs> That's uh, what I'd be doing. Maybe they just fucking love the butts. Yeah. Um, potentially could just be fans but too. Do, but good guys. And it's good to talk to all those people and all that type of stuff. Fuck yeah. And then that fucking, sounds fucking so good. And then the New South Wales opposition leader, Chris Minns comes in and we're talking about Minzy. the UFC and all that type of stuff. And, and then Claire went up to him and said, uh, um, hey, because uh, Dominic Perrottet, who he's running up against in New South Wales in the election, was uh, there was a photo. Had a bit of a mishap lately. A bit of a mishap. He was allegedly wearing it. No, he was. He said he <laughs> it's was. not alleged. He definitely uh, did it. Wearing a Nazi outfit at his twenty first. <laughs> I mean, um, which who, who hasn't? Who gives a shit, really? But anyway, <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'd do it. Um, and and uh, it doesn't mean you hate Jews or you love Nazis. It just means it's, just it's a bit of a fucked up thing to do. That's well, why it's funny. So he. Um, he did that, and then Claire went up to this Chris Minns and goes, "Hey, you're not going to wear any costumes, are you, <laughs> Clary?" <laughs> it's just like classic Claire Gold. Yeah, like she says nothing, perfect. and she just comes out with these like dingers. And then, and then he's like, "I don't know what she said after that. I can't remember." <laughs> But then he goes like he goes, All right, well we better get going. They just packed up and left. And they were in their car in like thirty seconds and gone. Oh, fuck. So well, maybe know. he has and he, he was worried that he Claire knew. Well, he might have dressed up as like Pol Pot or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Some nice Joseph Coney blackface yeah, or something. Yes. So after that happens, we end up going down and walking down to the um, 
to that photo that came up, there was some uh, street art. If you look up street art, uh, Alexander Volkanovsky there, Gabe, it'll come up. They did this big uh, painting and mural. And Where stuff. were you guys, Sydney? Uh, Sydney, on nice. George Street. So the yeah. main main centre of... He's a Wollongong um, product, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. is. He is, yeah. yeah. A, a Volk. Um, and basically, where is it? it w- it'll be in news. If you go to news, it should be in the news. He's like um, pound for... Especially since Usman got knocked out. He's like pound for pound the best fighter yeah. on the planet. I don't know where it was. It came up in those images before. It was there. It was there, yeah, if you go back. No, no, if you go all the way back. Anyway. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Anyway, it's um Oh, there it is. There they are both there. Down the uh, Facebook. Cross that one. Down left. Jeez. That one. <laughs> so there was one of those. See that? Oh wow. You know, yeah, yeah. So it was really Oh, cool. that's so cool. So we were having a look at all that type of stuff and um fuck, I just fucking hurt me balls when I moved my fucking leg then. Jesus, I squash one. Someone. One just like really popped. Um, you don't so, need the sperm count now. Claire's pregnant. You can just oh, wear the tightest pop, pants you want. Pop them as much as I want. <laughs> so we did that. Anyway, we walked down and in come Islam. I hadn't seen him yet. Oh, no, I did see him. I did see him. We were sitting at um, uh, in uh, Queen Victoria Mall yep. having uh, sausage rolls. Oh, and, and delicious. A, and a pie. Nice. Good pie. How's Dixon? She goes, I'll, I'll get her something. She comes out, me and her. Three pies, two sausage rolls. I was like, What's wrong? I don't see the issue. I was like, My wife, I that's, love you. That's, that's perfect. So, I know. That's I know. why we just went up. That's why she's the your best. wife. Yeah. So <laughs> that's awesome. We're sitting there, and I think it was either because uh, Morgan filmed it for us. He's a uh, respect he's, big morgs. He's, he's a cameraman for Nine News. So he said, professional. Oh, I said, to him, mate, I need you for this. He goes, All right. Because last time uh, the UFC were mad at us because they were apparently it wasn't good enough. Oh really? Uh, what yeah, the the camera? Oh and really? The, and the edit, they were mad at the. What edit. did you do? Uh, we moved the camera too much. Okay. It. So it was an interview. I said, Morgan, hop on. So he hopped on. Oh, that's good. Uh, anyway, so we got down there and we had the sausage roll factory. Uh, that's not a place. It was just, it was just where it sausage was. roll. And it, and I think Morgan or Claire said, "Oh, here comes Isla," and I look and he's got this crew with him. He's got his wrestling coach or his coach. He's got his uh, manager, who I think. He lives in Australia, and I, he, uh, we, we, we had a good chat on the day. He's a really good guy. He's and his two kids, and his arms walking down with that face that he pulls, <laughs> just, just like face. expressionless. He's not pulling it. That's just his face. And Islam and I lock eyes. Was this after or before, before. the interview? Before. Oh, okay, cool. Now, normally I just dig, wouldn't do anything, <laughs> but because I'm about to go and interview this guy in an hour, I thought it's going to be a bit weird if he sees me here and I don't say anything. Yeah. So, so I, you said something weird? <laughs> so I said, uh, you're not going to wear a Nazi uniform, are you? <laughs> I said, hey. I said, yeah, mate, how are you? And he goes, good. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Just perfect. I was like, good on you, mate. Great icebreaker. <laughs> Great icebreaker. The boys. Um, so, yeah, we, they do the face-off, as you saw there in that, in that photo down by that mural on George Street. And then... Um, the ESPN guy goes, "Oh, because you guys have got to go back to Newcastle. You want to interview first. So we walk. Oh, back that's good. And it's pissing down rain. That's why we were so wet. Walk back, probably about oh, five hundred meters or whatever to the hotel, the Hilton we were filming in, and um, we walk in. Islam walks in, recognizes me. Uh, probably friend of the channel. Uh, I'm probably, sure. Probably I, follows me. I'm sure he's a Patreon member. Uh, we shake hands and he sits down, and you wouldn't believe it. I made him laugh a couple of times. How good is that? So I actually made him laugh. But I was hitting him with these questions like dry as a dead dingo's donger. And he's like, I'm sorry, I don't, uh, English not good. Uh, <laughs> and then he, then his fucking manager's telling us that he was he flew from Dakistan to Vancouver to Sydney and came straight to do those interviews. Oh, he's just off the plane. 17 hours. He's tired and you're hitting him with dead dingo's so donger. So watch a dead dingo's <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, I no English, I'm fucking exhausted. Fucking exhausted. <laughs> and then he was going straight from there to a flight to Perth. Oh, Christ. Yeah. You'd think they'd, I mean, yeah, they could have done that better. Fuck, man. Yeah, that's so, crazy. So long story short, uh, it was a very successful day. Gabe's editing the videos now and they came out pretty good, eh? That's exciting. Yeah, it came that's out That's so cool. cool. There was um, a great bit in there where, oh, I don't know if I should spoil it, but it was so funny, where you've asked him about, like, you know, UFC martial arts is really taking off, and he just goes, yes, it's going to be a big fight. Like, he just did not know what you <laughs> He's said He's so tired, he's just on autopilot. Yes, like, very good, uh, very good Sydney. Big um, fight. <laughs> he, was, he was walking down the street and all these young uh, Muslim kids 
ran over to him and they laughed. Yeah. He's big. Superstar. In Muslim, big, big in the Muslim community. Yeah, because all the boys yeah. are Muslims, aren't they? Yeah. 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 And no I, one's scarier than the white Muslims who don't drink. No one's going to beat these guys. Well, all they do is wrestle. All they do is wrestle. None of them drink. Wrestle, there's no gambling. Pray, repeat. There's no like, it's there's crazy. no gambling. There's no women. It's just fucking it's scary. wrestling, bread, it, water. So he literally just grew up wrestling. Mm. He's like, Claire asked him, um, why did she ask him like, what do you, what he did when he was growing up and like what type of sports and all that type of stuff. He just do any other type of sports? He goes, no. No, no, sorry. She asked him, um, how's his camp been? Uh, it's funny to watch Dixon get all the lingo like nailed down. Yeah. She just knows exactly what she's talking about. She goes, so how's the, cause she loves the UFC, loves MMA. She goes, how's the camp been? And he goes, good, good, good. Uh, and she's like, oh, have you changed anything up with this camp? And he's like, no, Every camp is the same yeah. for every opponent. We don't change. Yeah, no. They wouldn't do tape on anyone. They would if you're doing the same camp since he was in nappies. And like Claire, it's just Claire's <laughs> like, get in contact with Volk. Let him know. Yeah. Train. Train. Oh <laughs> mate. They're just like they're crazy. Bro, he's so scary. Like Yeah, they all are. Isaac asked him, um oh, I like he's Terrific. like, Oh, he's like, How does Volk beat you? And like he, he just said it so calm, like he meant it. He's just like I don't really see how he can, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. He, just, he just said, like, how does he win? He's like, I've been thinking and, like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. They don't. <laughs> that's scary. They're, they're monsters. But in they're saying so that, scary. I think Volk will win. Ooh. I think he can beat Yeah, him. place your best. Bluey, who you going to be sick, mate. I don't know enough about it. I know Volk's, like, unbelievable, but this bloke's just fucking flogged everyone. Like, he Volk's has. had some good fights, but he's, like, nearly, like, you know, Ortega nearly got him and, like, he's had a few, like, close things. This bloke hasn't even looked like getting beat. Yeah. But didn't he just beat Oliveira? Yeah. And Oliveira was like hammering everyone. Yeah. And then he just beat him in like fucking, was it the first round or the second round? I think he beat him. It was early in the second round. He just strangled him. I'm not not sure how he beat him. I can't remember. But But he definitely strangled him. But we'll have an underdog story. And it's Volk. Like, yeah. It'll be sick. And he's going up. Like, it'll be interesting. But you know what? And he beat champ, champ. You know, he'd be double champ. You know what pissed me off from that whole day was when we were talking to this this, um, politician. I was talking to one of his ministers. I, think she, I don't know what she was doing. We didn't she introduce me. Minister, minister for minister, minister for what? small talk. Minister, <laughs> <laughs> minister of conversation. Oh, I'm the minister for conversation. Please step into my office. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, they want to get three UFC main events there a year. That's yeah. what they want. Well, because that's what didn't Perth they signed like a th- some, some like contract. Yeah. So it was like this is the last one. So I, that annoys me. Yeah, Maybe that annoys me. government organisations and all that type of stuff. I won't name who this is, but a group that I tried to do a ghost documentary at, a theatre in Newcastle, a big theatre, they wanted to charge us four grand for four hours to walk around and go, are you there? How do they justify, <laughs> how do they justify you'd want to find some ghosts for I four I want grand. to find a fucking demon in yeah. my ass by the time I left. How do they justify that? Oh, it's fucking crazy. It's insane, eh? Even Maitland Jail, they charged us fucking like three and a half grand the first time we did, did that. Did they really? Yeah. That's funny, hey. And the second time they had a new guy running it and they gave it to us for free. Is but Revenue rate? What's the... Oh, it's just because there's red tape and it's all bureaucrats. So Someone's like, got to sign off on it. Oh, so and and at any point you get involved with the bureaucratic system and people doing this and doing that and you've got to have this crossed and the dot the T's and cross the I's, all that type of shit, you just run into so many problems. <sighs> like even with the UFC, um, Robin, who uh, is their social media guy, in Australia, great dude, really, really like him. Um, he Because they didn't have someone from the UFC to stand in between the fighters, but they had a security guy to do it. Like for the face-off. For the face-off. And I was like, Robin, you have to let me do that. He goes, no <laughs> way. Not a chance. That'd be great. I know, but apparently it's to do with- um, In case they actually hit each other. <laughs> yeah, and I You'd get, be terrible. And I get, oh, I'd fucking sort it out, but apparently- I'd no, sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> Those Those Volk, you you see soft this, cocks? Look at the size of Volt compared to me. As long as they don't actually throw any punches. You can Volk, hold him at arm's length. I got I got the reach on both of the little <laughs> bastards. Um Yeah, so That's great. That sounds like that's gonna be fucking awesome. That's gonna be so it's at Opta is it at Opta Stadium? Is it at the big uh, stadium? Uh it's at like OPEC or a, oh, okay. some sort of theatre. Not theatre, um yeah. arena. Is it a theatre? They're going to fight on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that an arena? 15, only 15,000 people. The UFC only does small numbers. Yeah. At every event, they only do small numbers. Yeah. But the money is in the um, paper. Paper views, anyway. yeah. Um, but, but they could do what they did in uh, Melbourne a few years ago. Yeah. That Ronda Rousey fight had 52,000 people there. Did they have that at the MCG? No, they nah. had it at... Um, Margaret Court or one of them. Nah, no, nah, it was the fucking one, this, either the Storm play at. Yeah, or, uh, Marvel, Marvel or Stadium. Amy Park. Oh, Amy, yeah. Might have been Marvel or Amy Park. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 52,000. But they could do that in Sydney easily. 
Yeah, there's like so many good like venues. You put on a you big can, card. Yeah. I mean, you'll get fucking 80,000 people. Well, they always do when they come out here. There's always a good card. Like, they always. What was it? Did Whitaker and Adesanya fight over there last time? Uh, they. Oh, they had the rematch, didn't yeah. they? And then it got canned. Wasn't that the sort of thing? Or I don't know. Something. It's not important. One of the rematches got canned uh, from memory. But um, so this, this episode of this podcast is named the Australia Day podcast. Um, I. Used to get pretty blind on Australia Day. Um, Everyone did. <laughs> uh, I haven't in a couple of years, not for any particular reason. I just you get headaches. I just fucking, <laughs> I'm busy. Got other stuff going on. I got other things going on. But I've actually got two other podcasts on this afternoon after this for other people. Wow, so, here? Uh, no, Zoom. Oh. Uh, so, but yeah, here. So but much. Busy, busy. That's four today. I know. Jesus. Uh, right. So it's going to be good. Uh, and then I'm going to go for a beer this afternoon. Good. But, Obviously, there's a lot of uh, conversation surrounding Australia Day and change the date. And Bluey, you're a pretty of a left wing guy. <laughs> lefty Blue. Have you got Lefty Blue on the fucking? Have oh, we got a Lefty Blue soundbite? So I'll give you one. Okay. You're gonna get one. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Australia Day? Yeah, I think we we might have we've probably been doing this a year because I feel like we spoke about this last probably. year. Probably, but um, yeah, I mean, this you sort of it's it's in recent times. Like I'm of the opinion, like. You and I both grew up playing footy with Indigenous boys, got Indigenous mates. Um, and I'm of the opinion that, like, if it means something to the boys, as in, like, Invasion Day, whatever you want to call it, and they don't like it, then I think that needs to be respected. And, like, I don't, as long as we get a public holiday, I don't give a fuck what day it's on. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Um, what bothers me is the divisive stuff that happens. Because, like, like you said, up until... Five years ago, four mm. years ago, we were pissing up and listening to the hottest 100 on Australia Day. Yeah. No one gave a fuck. And I think it's sort of symptomatic of where we're at with this kind of like, you can call it like woke culture or whatever. Because literally no one, like, I mean, people cared, but no one, it was never a big conversation and a big thing until like the last few years. Like you said, Triple J, which is like the fucking mecca for woke people. Mm. We had the hottest 100 on Australia Day every fucking year it was a huge party right up until they only stopped doing it like fucking three years ago or two years yeah. ago so and, and, I, and they only changed that to basically go look at us yeah. yeah and i'm not saying i'm not saying that um like people shouldn't be because like like you say like australia's got a, a pretty shameful history of the way we've treated indigenous people that, that can't be argued no and if january 26th is symbolic of like that kicking off for indigenous people change the date Mm. Couldn't care less. Like I said, as long as we get a public holiday, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But what I don't like is where, like Vice, you've had your issues with Vice magazine. Sure. Vice posts articles and they go, I've I got one up. I was looking at it and I'm like, this is fucking garbage. And they're going, you know, like, here's what you can do. Here yes. are things you can do. And, and it's always shared. And check your news feeds and tell me if I'm wrong, but it's always shared by white fucking chicks that live in affluent suburbs mm -hmm. going here's how we can be a better ally for our indigenous brothers and sisters like i know for a fact you don't have any black mates yeah but they want to everyone wants to get on a pedestal and do a bit of grandstanding about this issue that you know is an issue for some people but no one gives a fuck we've been treating black people in this country like shit for a lot longer than you know just then it happened it didn't just happen on january 26 but no one makes fucking noise about it until this day of the year. And that's what annoys me. If you care about it, be consistent. Don't just fucking pipe up now. And what else are you doing? Like, are, are you doing something to help? Pe people just want to share an Instagram post and that's go, it. and go. I'm I'm an ally, and, and, then, and then the rest of the year do nothing else. Do nothing. It's like, and I'm not saying you shouldn't care about it. If you care about it, that's awesome. And But be fucking consistent because it's the same with any issue. You can pick trans, you can pick gay rights, whatever. Ukraine, people want to, yeah. Ukraine, whatever. People just want to grandstand and, and do a bit of, and I'm not saying everyone, some people do genuinely care about it. That's great. But what bothers but me is when people get people. divisive and just want to go, look at me, I'm a good person. It's it's what it is, is virtue signaling. It's exactly. It. And look realistically, we're all pieces of shit. Just accept it. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't like. Well, look at me. Look at, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm a good ally. A good ally. Yeah. You know, you That's have what to bothers me, me about it. Man, the, this is, so I was always a pretty staunch defender of, of Australia, I was like, nah, don't. And the reason I was like that is because of the reasons that I saw people wanting to change the date. They wanted to change it because they were like, nah, this is just, this is, we need to go against white people, yada, 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 yada. But as I got older and I started to realize that, yes, they are the loudest, but they're not the actual reason, right? <laughs> 
The real reason is that a lot of Aboriginal people, Indigenous people, Torres Strait Islander people, they see this date as a date that signifies uh, the the not the death, but the an attack on their culture. Well, it's yeah, and and it definitely is. It's like it's when you know the colonization, which was like a brutal, disgust. Like you read some of the stuff that, like the colon, like people colonize this country did to Aboriginal people. It's yeah. fucking abho- like it's beyond. But well, it's evil. But it's the, evil. But, but the problem with that is this happened. Why people did this all over the globe, and prior to that, people of all different colors did this to every other color in in history. Yeah. This is a this isn't a white thing. This is a human thing. Yeah, people people, suck. people are horrible, and particularly we're all go, pieces of shit. We are. <laughs> you go back through history and you look at the heinous shit that happens oh all boy. over the globe. Look at the Chinese with the Muslim Uyghurs at the moment. Oh boy, mate! Like like this happens all over. This is what happens when power takes over people. Yeah. They see people as less less than. than human. You then look at the stolen generation. I was having a chat to my mate Derek Vale, who's a, an ind- indigenous man. Um, this morning I was talking to him. And he said, mate, they weren't stolen. How can they be stolen if no one was charged with it? If you steal something, you get charged with it. The person who gets the property gets charged with it. They were kidnapped. They were kidnapped out of their homes. Mm. All because white people sat there and and this isn't this isn't you or me, white people or Gibe. This is this is people, you know, hundred years ago, yeah. fifty years ago. This isn't us. And the other the other thing that I thought of too with people <laughs> that have the issue with people because that then now it's become an issue of like there's people are like cult, like shaming people, anyone that does want to celebrate Australia Day is being shamed now, which is like the same thing with like yeah. everything. You there's not there's not a, there's not a person that's celebrating today that would be celebrating a genocide or an invasion. Not one person. What anyone that wants to celebrate today, which I think they should be fully within their rights to do. You've travelled, I've travelled, Gabe. I don't know if you've travelled or not. You've been to England. You've been to the United States. They suck. Australia is by far the best country on the planet, without a doubt. Weather, people, people, fucking beaches, food, money, you housing, can, everything, everything, is great. And like this country's got its problems, like everywhere else. But we, this is, in my opinion, and it's going to sound like very nationalist. But we, this is the best country I in the world. I don't think there's anything wrong with being nationalist. It's not. But this is the best country in the world. I've lived. I've lived in England. I've lived in. You know, there's there's good parts of every country, but Australia is by far the best country in the world. And I think people should be entitled to go out and say. I mean, if we have to do it on another day, that's fine. Whatever. But again, I just don't like the shaming thing. Going, you should be, you shouldn't be out doing anything today. It's like, you yeah. can do whatever you fucking want. Yeah. It's like, no, the, you will not find a person that's out there celebrating today. It's going, how good was the genocide? That's not what anyone's celebrating. They're celebrating this. Yes. That's Absolutely. what people are celebrating, and that's what annoys me. I don't like the divisiveness. People go, oh, well, you're doing it. It's that thing. It's like, well, if you're not, if you're not being somber, then you're this. It's if you're not this, you're this. It's that divisive. It's that bipartisan. It just fucking, it's wrong, and yeah. it annoys the fuck out. And, of and if you, and this is what I came to the conclusion of: if it upsets Indigenous people, if someone's auntie or their nana or whatever. Like they genuinely cry on this day, then fucking change, change it. Change the date. But, but who cares? Change the date. I think we should change the date anyway. It's pretty clear that. But. Yeah. You change it, you'll still have the exact same people. You will. Who are, as you said, white people who are virtue signaling saying, no, this is not a day to celebrate Australia. We need to, it needs to be a day of remembrance. Yeah. And, so you won't ever win. This is you no. can't you can't win with these people. No. And when I say these people, I'm talking about white people. I know. <laughs> yeah. You didn't right. need to clap. I was gonna no. I'm talking about white what do you mean? What you do you people? mean you people? I'm talking about white people who are trying to get I'm talking about white people from Melbourne. It's generally it's generally like people who live in affluent suburbs that have the most to say about this stuff. Exactly. But like but yeah. what's wrong with like I know Nat being a nationalist is is usually pretty you know high up there with being a Nazi. But what is wrong with being <laughs> you're like you like one down? <laughs> but what what's wrong with being really proud? Like I think it's I think it's wonderful to be proud of your country, proud of your people, and I also think that um, Aboriginal culture is sort of like my culture too. Because this is the country I was born in. This yeah. is that's its history. Yeah, is that not? A, is, it's I know a, it's a bit of a strange thing to say, but wouldn't it be? It's funny because as a white dude, you are kind of like as a you know like an Anglo-Saxon with heritage. Well, sorry, let me just finish with, with, sorry, with sorry, sorry. what I was saying with that is I feel more attached to Aboriginal culture than I do Scottish culture, where my family comes from two hundred years ago. Well, it makes sense because you've been here. You've been here for longer, yeah, and you've probably had more to do with indigenous culture. Hundred percent, yeah. It's an interesting one. As it, like, I can only speak on like our experiences, but like as a white guy, especially like you grow up like playing footy with like Aboriginal boys and 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 like Koori boys and that where we're from, and it can be like 
and the more that indigenous cultures come to prominence, like in, like footy teams having indigenous days, mm. you sometimes like you obviously like you love the boys, but it can be a hard one to go and like oh you don't want to. You can feel like sometimes you know you're stepping on their toes, or it's kind of awkward to get involved in the culture. And I remember having a beer. We did like my old footy club did a really good Indigenous Day a few years ago, and I was saying to Randall, the guy that ran it, like he was sort of spearheading it, and he was like, um, I said to him, I was like, oh, what's the like if I score a try, can I do a shake a leg? Is that like inappropriate? And he's like, mate, I would fucking love that. So like yeah. they were like, yes, let's go. Like it's all about love and like, but it can be kind of funny. Like if you're if you're a white guy. And you kind of can sometimes feel a little bit like, oh, like, you know, it's, it can be hard to get involved in the culture. Um, it's very cool. Well, I, whenever I, I don't know if anyone else does this, but whenever I shake an indigenous man's hand, I, I do one normal shake, one up like that. <laughs> I do. And then back like that. This is the, this is the rule of thumb. It goes white man, black man, and then you go pac man. Oh, right. No, <laughs> I do that up and then back. And, I, and it's, it, they, they immediately. <laughs> You're actually talking about handshake. Yeah. I didn't know if you're serious or not. No, I am. Do you know the handshake I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the indigenous handshake. I didn't know it was like the boys for the boys. Yeah. No, that's what. It, that's how. If you're a black fella, that's how you shake hands. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And not that I'm a black fella, but <laughs> but no, but that's a respect. Indigenous yeah. people watching this, let me yeah. know. That's an, it's a respect thing to do because yeah, right. they they immediately see you do that and they go. Respect. He knows. He's no, cool. He's one. He's of cool. Us. But I always I always get handshakes wrong with regardless of race. I fuck it up. Just about every time. Just don't do the Nazi salute and they're usually fine. I mean, I get that wrong sometimes too. Yeah. I got like, I have one cool handshake. I got a Maori mate and he's yeah, like, yeah. did I tell you about that? And he's like, we should have a handshake. And I was like, what, like a, you know, you said like the footy players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have one friend over. I fucking like a cool shit. handshake. So, there's, and there's my mates make fun of me every time I do it. <laughs> they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm cool. No, I, I'm not cool <laughs> enough to do those. Go, going through the live stream comments here, someone asked, out of curiosity, what do you think they should change a date to if they do? Yeah. Would well, not have a clue. That's the thing, isn't There'd it? There'd be heaps of good ideas, though. But if May 8 is the, so May 8 is is the big idea. May. Yeah. <laughs> May 8 yeah. makes, That's so corny. May 8 makes so much sense. And also, everyone loved your take, Blue, on... Uh, Australia Day on your first rant. Oh yeah, I oh, get fired up about it because I just hate. hate mine. <laughs> I'm Stick reading the up. comments. Stick I'm reading up, yeah. the comments. It does. It just fires me up because like, it's fucking. There's enough stuff to get upset about, and it's like these people want to. They do. They want to keep the. What are you giggling at? So your, your handshake thing is ninety percent true, but <laughs> <laughs> what do you what mean? Do you, say? I was what like, do you mean ninety percent? <laughs> uh, that, that's just coming from an, uh, a, a custodian in the comments. Oh, good stuff. Well, let me know. What, how do I like, how do I sort out the yeah. Yeah. tapping <laughs> you, sticks you involved? Must be missing What's, another. Yeah, you're missing <laughs> like this is this is it's a four step slap up, and you're only getting three of them. Well, how am I supposed to get it all? I'm not indigenous. Well, I don't we'll fucking get, know what I'm talking about. No, Jesus we don't. Christ. But yeah, that's what annoys me. Like, because yeah, we don't know. Like, none of us know what we're talking about. But people want to come out who. They do like you don't do anything like you're a fucking you're a PT Instagram model. Don't start fucking Shut posting. Your fucking they want to go like oh well this is how you can be a good ally. It's like you're not an ally. Like you just shut up. There's this anyway. other one that I think I think it was Clementine Ford. We're getting fired forward. up again. <laughs> Put this forward uh, <laughs> about uh, pay the rent. Have you seen that? Uh yeah, that was something in Vice. I didn't understand it. So they want you. To I was like, I pay my rent every week. They want. <laughs> I got. I got enough going. So they on. want you to donate money to Indigenous. Uh, so there was go to news stories because there was one madness at fury at, indig at indigenous push uh, push for the fucking jeez I cannot read today. Uh, I have to get glasses. I can't read that screen. I can't read out loud. Backlash over call to pay weekly rent to Indigenous Australians. Pauline Hanson has led the charge as backlash. Oh, that was, that's that, that's all you need to see right there. Pauline Hanson has led the charge. You're like this could be bad. <laughs> now. The scheme pay the rent would Pauline work. Pauline Hanson leading anything's not good. <laughs> so forget Pauline Hanson. The, the scheme pay the rent would work as a voluntary weekly payment to a body led by Aboriginal elders and managed without interference from the government. The program has been quietly operating in Victoria, encouraged non-Indigenous people to pay a percentage of their income to Aboriginal people out of respect. So like their, reparations kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, that's fucking not happening. Not a chance. That's not happening. Yeah, I don't know. Is that... I don't know. Is that Pay somewhat, is that somewhat patronising as well? Is like they can't it's look the after money from the white people. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Is that fucking? I, I'm not paying anyone anything. Well, That's my know. money. Yeah, I know. But you're a fucking tight. <laughs> you're tight. Fucking <laughs> right. That is my money. I've worked hard for it. I Get just your think fucking that, hands off. That seems somewhat pat, maybe a little bit patronising. Feminist too. author Clementine Ford and Green Senator Lydia Thorpe. Oh, they're both couple of your boys. <laughs> couple of your boys <laughs> among the high-profile identities who voice their support. I guarantee you, they're not paying anything. 
And if they are, show us the receipts. Yeah. Well, that, and um, again, but like something like this to me just looks like virtual signaling because like not that it, I'm sure it does like the money probably does help, but it also just seems like a thing where people could, I, I can't imagine that these people would not be posting these receipts to their Instagram stories. Like I've paid the rent. Have you? Also, it just not, se- this just seems like a chance. For, why is it up to us to do it? Well, it's up to everyone. Reparations is ridiculous <laughs> based on the, the principle of these people aren't being affected right now. Yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I, I don't really have an opinion on that one way Wasn't or the other. Wasn't there an actor getting done for reparations recently? Um, that, was <laughs> that was rape. That was rape. Rape. You know. No, there was uh old mate who played um, fucking, what's his name, does the circles. <laughs> this will be good. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, he does the circles. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> On the <laughs> Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. He does, <laughs> he the, does the circles. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you're going to be good by your fourth podcast this summer. <laughs> Just a drooling mess. He does the fucking circles. All right, well, does he or does... So, Benedict Cumberbatch could be fourth. Yeah, what's fake. his name? Old cum hands. Oh, God. Spider-Man, that's it. Old juice fingers. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch should be forced to pay reparations to pay reparations for slave owning ancestors. So why are we? Why would we pay for something that we didn't do? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've honestly never, not really given any thought to the subject. And if you, because I normally think everything through before I say it. Now so. let me let me say this: if there are, if there, let's say you're an indigenous family and you've lived in the same area for. Your family's lived there for 100 years, right? And in the 50s or the 60s, the white Australia policy moved out some of your ancestors. Then, okay, maybe there's a there's something to be said for what they took from you. But it's not up to you or I or Gabe to pay for that. That's a government thing. Leave Gabe out of this. <laughs> <laughs> that's not up to that's nah. not up to us to sort out, right? Yeah. It, it, and I guess people are saying, and what I'm saying for that, I'm not a, a fan of the reparations argument. What I'm saying is if there is something that Indigenous communities need, then it should be funded by the government. Yeah. There are enough people paying enough taxes that you should be able to find that cash yeah. to sort out a library, sort out proper roads, mm. sort out proper... Because there are places in Australia where Indigenous people don't have access to fucking running water, to you know, yeah. sanitary and uh, you're right, sanitation. We do, we do pay enough tax in this country we that do pay shit enough. should get sorted out. So sort that shit out, mm. right? The federal government should be sorting that shit out. Instead of, instead of spending all this money on X, Y, or Z, or sending fucking weapons to the Ukraine. Or fucking billion-dollar stadiums. They just keep dollars, building... Building stadiums. Footy. We've got enough fucking footy stadiums. Build a fucking water treatment plant in Alice Springs, you dumb fuck. No, we're going to bulldoze the SFF and build another one. <laughs> why, did, why did they do that? Was that was insane. That is fucking retarded. It was a perfectly good statement. It's fine. It had heaps of history and they're like... Oh. And all I can notice is the seats. It's got cool coloured seats now. It's fucking stupid. Put some new seats in. Yeah. Anyway, I think we've spoken enough about that, but it fucking... It fires me up and like... Obviously, yeah. If like... I think we should probably change the date. But like you said, it's never, you're never going to please everyone. Um, I just don't like the fucking... The wokesters. Yeah, change it. And, yeah. and I think, I, I don't know how we recognise. People will be shitty that this podcast is happening on Australia. Day. People will be like, you shouldn't fucking do that. Oh, good. Don't watch it. I mean, you, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I could not give two shits. No, please watch it. <laughs> please watch it. <laughs> Some guy sent me this like four page email the other day based on. Um, I'm sure you read the whole thing. <laughs> he goes, I know you don't read your comments, but I'm autistic and I want you to read this. You're like. <laughs> I, I read that. I'm and in. Got, got immediately out. Yeah. Um, it's like when you see led by Pauline Hanson, you're like, I'm out. Uh, if you start off uh, your fucking email to me with I'm autistic, I'm I'm a fucking yeah. I'm whatever. I, don't, anyway, I, I just can't. I can't. I, I get can't. a lot of messages these days um, that are to pass on to you. Like, oh, what? Because people, well, no, because people are like, no, your your box is too full. My box is full. But old Bluey's box is fucking yeah, needs to get dude. filled. Yeah. And uh, people be like, oh, I sent Patsy this, but he hasn't read it. Can you? show him i'm like no <laughs> it's so good they're like oi send butterfield this but he can you show him this i'm like yeah mate no worries <laughs> just don't show him on the subject of sending us stuff too we yeah. i did want to say because we went to have a guest today yes. and we asked for questions last night right we're still going to have that guest if yeah we just, uh, well i just wanted to say for his kids because i'm a fucking idiot i don't know how so people send these questions in i see all the questions and thank you for sending the questions in. If you listen to this, I appreciate the questions. I don't know how to write back and say thank you for the questions. Like, because people send in really funny, good questions, and I want to go like, "Hey, thanks heaps for that. I'll make sure I ask it or whatever." But I can't reply to them because they don't come into my inbox. They come up as just notifications. Oh, right. So, just wanted to say, if you're listening and you sent me a question, I have read it. Thank you. I just fucking don't know how to say thank you, so I'm saying it now. 
Yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Louis no, I feel uh, bad because uh, like people, heaps of people send in good questions, and then like today we're not even going to read any. But yeah. we're going to we use them. We'll use them. Oh, just, yeah. just screenshot them. There's some pretty good questions. <laughs> First screen, screenshot them. We'll There's use some them. good ones last week. For oh, for Lee Priest one. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. My back's so fucked after training with him. Well, what was our favourite Lee Priest moment? What was your favourite? I mean, uh, seeing his cocks up there. That, <laughs> so, I mean, obviously we, didn't, be hard to we didn't show it on the podcast, but the photo, but his cock was so blood red. Oh, man. I've never seen anything like it. Red as the devil's dick. Red as the devil's cock. It was outrageous. Yeah, he's, he's lived a life and still living. Good to see. He must be in pain. Too much weights. Yeah, well, I mean, how's like you said, I your body one session and I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Did you say you hurt your back? You did one session with him and hurt your back? Well, I think because I've had issues with the rounding of the back, like mm. in squats and stuff, because we're doing leg press, my back was rounding way 20, too much. 20,000 reps on leg press will do it. So my back's been fucked this week. Or it could have been from something else. I don't fucking know. I do have mice in my retaining wall. I need an answer to how to fix that. Does anyone know? Pellet gun. Because <laughs> I opened the fucking door last night and two little micees ran up into my retaining wall. Oh, really? So I don't know whether to get like some spray expanding foam and put it in there, but then I worry <laughs> about suffocating. Well, that's what I thought, but then it might smell. Yeah, and you got dead mice smell. Get, so, a, nice, get a BB I'll gun. See about getting Colin Schumach get a snake out of here for a day. Yeah. But then what's going to get the snake? Exactly. A bigger I, snake. A bigger snake. <laughs> and then I'll have to get like a lion and maybe nah, some cane toads. A honey badger. They eat snakes. Nah, but he works for too many companies. Oh, he's yeah, no, busy. He's, his schedule's probably pretty busy. Um, but yeah, so I am dealing with that. So if anyone's got any suggestions, Gabe, keep an eye out on the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the chat. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was Googling it last night and just came up with nothing. Um, I've got a challenge for everyone listening. Mm. There's a challenge for you. We want everyone to better themselves here on this no, podcast. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> uh, if you Do you have access to you, your partner Jesse's uh, passcode for a phone? Yeah. So you know how to get into it. Yeah. So I have. I know Claire's. She knows Jesse mine. Jesse knows mine, yeah. We know Gabe's. Um, <laughs> of course we know Gabe's. This is the challenge. Because oftentimes Claire will go and do something for five minutes or two minutes or one minute and she'll leave a phone on the lounge. Mm. Every single time she does that, <laughs> I go on to Google and I search I, two things. Big black cock. But yeah, it's already there when you open it. She's already been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beat me to it. Or just something like, just something strange like Asian ladies asshole or fucking um, come on face nice. or whatever. And I, I, I put it on the phone. I get the, the image as big as I can and I lock it. Don't mind that. And I, just, I just leave it there. That's very funny. <laughs> and so what I want to issue a challenge for the podcast all right, and I'm going to give we'll, we'll give a prize. We'll come up with a prize. Yeah, I want you to do it to your partner's phone and film their reaction. And film their reaction. Yeah. All right. What do we call? What we got to come up with a name for this prank? Um, Porn phoning. That's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's work really, in progress. That's really nah, funny because well, it, it could porn phoning. Um, Dude. I'm getting black. I can imagine. Yeah, getting, getting black. black. Yeah. I can imagine. I, I'm, I'm doing. This is what I think all the reactions will be like. It'll just be the girls going, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like that'll be. All right, all right, all they'll right. pick their phone. Go. Okay. Let's do it. You're fucking serious. Big black. <laughs> big, has to be a big black dick. Because yeah. you're not going to get a big white dick. They're boring. A big yeah. black dick. I'm going to call it getting black. Yeah. You got to right? black your misses. Send them to the cancel me now Instagram. Guys. Send it to the cancel me now Instagram. Send us the video of you blacking your misses. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I think so. I, I like it. I think it could be a great segment. We've got the new TV here, so we may as well watch we can it. Play, we can play the reactions. We can play the reactions. Yeah. And, uh, so don't film the actual- Cock. The cock. <laughs> Try and avoid that. We will. We can get around it, I guess. Yeah, we can just blur them out. We can blur them out, Gabe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, then you have to stare at dicks all day, but I'm sure you do that anyway. Sure he's, he's always got one tab open. I've, I had, uh, before Gabe was took over the uh, the running of this uh, enterprise, um, <laughs> I had an editor uh, who was a lady, and she's a very nice lady, uh, but I often did like uh, videos on OnlyFans. <laughs> and when I do a video on OnlyFans, I send my editor the uncut version. Of course. So of the screen record. And, and I don't post it because I don't want to fucking fuck around with people's business and all that type of stuff. I don't want to give away free shit or anything. You know what I mean? People's um, income. People's someone's income, livelihood. Even if you are a whore. And uh, <laughs> so so I'd send it to her. And I did the <laughs> Nikocado avocado one through her. And a lot of buttholes in that. Just his giant asshole. And this poor woman. But she said- I, I met It's obviously her. why she quit. 
<laughs> I only the... met her once and I said, how do you find all that? She goes, oh, I'm fine with it. I was like, really? She goes, well, I used to work at this um, – at a media company. I don't know if it was Channel 9 or Channel 10 or whatever. Brazzers. Um, Brazzers. <laughs> and, uh, and she used to – you know when there's a dead body that's being filmed? Yeah. She used to get the raw footage and used to blur it out. So if someone's body was mangled on the road or whatever, oh. she would blur it all out. But still, I think that Nikocado Avocado's asshole is worse than that. Yeah, tough wank. Tough wank. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked. Man, that whole, I don't know if I ever showed you those clips, but it's full I on. I feel like I saw them. Nikocado's butthole. Yeah. And he's just on the bed like... <laughs> <laughs> I did. That stuff stays with you. I think I might still have it. We can show you. <laughs> Let's get it up. No, get don't it up. get it up for the Patreon. Uh, <laughs> We're with buttholes on Patreon today. Oh, you talk about buttholes. You brought uh, a video that I wanted to watch. Oh yeah, the uh, yeah. So I was on the Gold Coast recently. This video is not from that. Yep. But I was on the Gold Coast. Anyone who's been to the Gold Coast knows you go there for three things. Two things really. Hollywood Showgirls yep. and the Slingshot. Did you go to Hollywood Showgirls this time? <laughs> Not this time, but on this this particular trip, I did not my most recent trip. How was your trip? Because you sent us a, a clip. Yeah, I was sick. You were, did we play that on this show? I think we yeah, might have played yeah. it with Lee last week. But, yeah, uh, we did. We did. Played yeah, it with Lee. So you were, you were pretty cool. Yeah, so it was a, it was the punters, annual, annual punters club trip. And uh, so we go, we save up all our money all year. We pool our resources. We gamble. The money we win goes into the kitty. And there's about 12 of us. And we go away. Uh, last year, we went to the... Um, Boxing Day Test in Melbourne. Yep. This year we went to the Magic Millions on the Gold Coast. So we go away once a year and just annihilate ourselves for three days. Nice. Um, it's a lot of fun. Mm. This this year, yeah, we were going to do the podcast on uh, on my return on Monday, and I that was did not happen. I was not well. <laughs> <laughs> I was not well, but it was great. But this video we're about to watch was from uh, a Buck show okay. that we that we were on the Gold Coast for about mid last year, and uh, it was on the Slingshot after. Um, a lot to drink and some narcotics. So, so if you listen watch. to this, uh, head over to the Cancer Me Now podcast. It'll be on probably, probably put it on Instagram as well. But go <laughs> the thumbnail to, looks good already. <laughs> but if you go over to uh, Cancer Me Now on YouTube, you'll be able to watch this. Gabe, are you able to share the screen? He's fucking good, this bloke. Oh, mate. He's good. Okay, so you're very green. Okay, so how many beers have you had at this point? We've been drinking like, all we day. Got, we've got sound through it. I do. I've been drinking, isn't it? That's weird. That's okay. That's all right. Do we need the sound on it? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty funny. But yeah, we've been drinking all day. And uh, this is about... And we were actually on the way to Hollywood Showgirls. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. This is the perfect. Just stop in for a quick slingshot on the way to the strip so, club. So who's this bloke you got in This here? is the buck. This is my uh, my good mate, Tommy. He, okay. It was his buck show. And he's... Uh, I, did, I learned I was petrified oh, of heights. Fuck. But I'd obviously bullied him. I was like, you're getting on. And he's like, no, I don't want to do it. And I'd obviously been very belligerent. That shit you and, tried to uh, do on my, and my it, bucks. Yeah, 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 exactly. And bullied him into getting on. Okay, so, so you're on. Take us through. We don't have any sound, but take us That's through. all right. Yeah, so they give you a countdown. And uh, Tommy, you can see he's oh, not so enjoying himself. Back. Oh, you go back. Mate, watch. No. It's so good. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> mate, why do we take off? And you I'm already heaving. I was high as a kite. No, I was very fucked up. <laughs> oh, we got, sound? got some sound? Yeah, we got sound. Listen to me. I'm 50. fucking hammered. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 48. 47. 46. 45. 44. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <Hey, good laughs> <man>. Fuck that! I blew it. You <laughs> and I go for the knuckles yeah, and he just leaves me hanging. Hang he just keeps leaving me hanging. <laughs> knuckle him. Knuckle him. Oh, knuckle him. second try. Nothing. He's so mad at me. Third try. There we go. There we go. Oh, Hold on. Mate. And there's an amazing view. There's an amazing view. Oh, I, heard, I heard you say, like, yeah. Oh, fuck it, oh, fuck it. yeah. I would encourage anyone who's on the uh, on the glitter strip to uh, go drinking all day and uh, and get on the um, get on the slingshot. It's fucking so fun. Tommy's not happy. Feel sick? Nah. Wow. Have you seen the videos like people passing out and stuff on? Them? That's very scary. <laughs> no, fortunately, I didn't pass out. Ask him when, when's the ride start? Oh, <laughs> I'm so tough. <laughs> 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 
There's um. <laughs> Oh, great work, Gabe. That's nice use of the TV. There's a there's a bit in there. I don't know if you can hear it, but Bluey just goes, "I oh, know. Let's go to strippers." <laughs> <laughs> we were literally there was our hotel. It was perfect. Like there was our hotel. The slingshot was about hundred meters, and then I think about another three hundred meters is Hollywood Show. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> the Gold Coast. That's hilarious. Just always delivers. But yeah, yeah. and I, I actually went to a, another show on um on the weekend. Just gone. Saw a, uh, a muser. Hence the, you've seen him rocking a very yeah. stone cold Steve Austin sort of look. goatee and mustache at the moment. So we went to um, went to the Enmore Theatre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home of Isaac's sold out comedy special. Hello. And uh, fuck, it's a nice theatre. It's beautiful, yeah. Newtown's cool. I always bag Newtown, but it's actually really cool. It is cool. Um, and we went and saw a guy called Mark Rebier. He's a, uh, yeah, so he's, a, he's an improvisational musician okay. from uh he's from dallas but he's in new york like where they all go to make it and uh he's amazing so he has like a, a keyboard with his like, synthesizer and all the loop pedals uh sorry all the effects and a loop pedal okay and he improvises every single show it's like going up and doing a brand new comedy set that every time you perform horrifying mate he is incredible he plays in a bathrobe and his undies on underneath and he has the weird goatee and the mustache yeah hence. And what does this uh, bike look like? Mark Rebier, if you can, uh, M A R C R E double B, yeah, first okay. one there, yeah. So uh, he's amazing. So he does it. He does a brand new show every single time he goes out, um, and he improvises the whole thing. He makes he makes <laughs> his beat. He does funk. He does hip hop. He does. Where jazz. did you find this dude? He he popped up. So he got really big in COVID. So yeah. he was he's a, and I forgot to mention all his songs are ridiculous. He sings about like eating ass and fucking. Like shagging your nan and like he's fucking hilarious. He's a, he's a complete weirdo, but he's he's amazingly talented. And I think he blew up over COVID, so he was obviously performing a lot. And then when COVID happened, he couldn't perform, especially in New York. And he just started streaming, so he'd live stream his sets and he'd just do like a live stream every Sunday. And he's got like I think he's got about two and a half million subscribers on YouTube wow. now. And then when COVID's finished, he's like selling out Red Rocks and he's wow. did two shows at the end more sold out. And so he's pretty talented. He's mate, he's like unbelievable and really funny and really weird and like fucking sick. So that was really good. And that's why I have a bad. Oh, um, I like master. it. Yeah, I might keep it. <laughs> why don't you? I was like, Jesse hates it, and I was like, I kind of like it. <laughs> Well, it's all about it's all about the image with the blue. I, I was saying to Blue the other day that he needs to push his own Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So are we going to do that? What's going to mm-hmm. happen? Because we should do it on the podcast. Yeah, I'll just have to um, get more content for it. Just need more content. Well, I think that people should be able, unless you're going to incorporate the Daily Blue with photos of you and stuff. Yeah, I should leave the Daily Blue the Daily Blue. I That's think it I should I be separate. the news. Separate. That should that's just say for for news related business. Okay, and well, then just make another Instagram. Well, I for, think I think we should for think, blue content. I think we should for the blue content. Blue, blue content. Blue content. I'll do Blue's Choose on that. Well, how is Blue's Choose? People seem to be enjoying it. And what the Choose? The chewing. What Blue's Choose? It's where he reviews. I review food. <laughs> No, I've been doing food happen? reviews. I've oh, just been doing oh, food no, reviews. No, no, I do know what you mean. I do yeah. Know what you mean. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you meant videos. Are you doing yeah. videos? Uh, no, but Gabe is like, start doing videos. Gabe thinks I should do videos. I think you should. Too. Yeah. I think um, absolutely. And that, because we're going to America in a few months. I'm going yeah. to do a lot of chewing over there. Yeah, fucking I. Did you go to any gun ranges when you were in America? Uh, in Hawaii, I did. Yeah. I um, want to I wanna get gun fever. You should. Yeah. I, I went, when I went to Hawaii, I can't even remember what I shot. It was so long ago, but it was fucking great. Yeah. Like, I, I, uh, AK 47, all that yeah. type of stuff. They didn't have fully automatic in Hawaii. Apparently, that's illegal. <laughs> Soft. Uh, and apparently, if in this particular gun, Range, you if you like if you fire in quick succession, you can get kicked out. But oh, I'll, really? I'll make it was, I'll make it was pretty cool. With me, he goes, yeah, just go for it, mate. just let her rip, son. <laughs> let her rip. Yeah, and Claire couldn't go in because she was pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah, so don't knock Jesse up. No, nah, well, she won't be able to go in. <laughs> <laughs> Josh didn't uh, just pretend to point a gun at a baby, an imaginary baby. <laughs> Someone said you're gonna take over KFC with that thing, Bluey. What's the, that? Colonel, oh, the Colonel Sanders. The Colonel. Oh, yeah. Colonel. He was fairly racist by all reports. <laughs> Remember that that great urban legend, like the um, like a percentage of KFC's profits still went to the clan. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that might be true. Who knows? I mean, let's not look into it, but it's um, probably true. You know the you know the fist emoji you send to people. Yeah. Do you know what that means? That one? No, no. Like, or the, the punching can one. You, can you look up the fist the one? There's, yeah. there's one that goes sideways. I yeah, think front, a, front on. The front on one. Front on one. Yeah, like knuckles. Is that like you want to fist someone? Yeah. Do you know what that means? No. I'd say it's just like a knuckles or a punch. It's a knuckle. Yeah, like yeah. knuckles. It's like, like, hey, knuckles, Respect. Yeah. yeah. 
Did I you not know that? I only learned that last week. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think it was? I thought it was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all about context. That it could one be there, fuck yeah. that, that one. The, the first one. I yeah. thought that was like, you go, like you say to someone, oh, let's do that. And you're like, yeah. I, I, I mean, it's all about context. I think that emoji sucks because I see it the most when people are like, 2023 going to be my year. Like, the, the, like, like get out of my way. <laughs> nah, that, not that. Now that one's a bit nah. different. Gabe always sends me the handshake emoji. Yeah, Gabe loves his handshake. I love the handshake emoji. He's like, what do you reckon, boys? Podcast Thursday? We're like, yeah, mate, no worries. And he goes, <laughs> yeah. handshake emoji. Deal. <laughs> yeah. Done deal, mate. Done deal. Done deal. What's everyone's favourite emoji? Or I oh, fucking just, I mean, everyone <laughs> just hate them. Everyone destroys the laughing face emoji. We hammer the laughing face emoji even when it's not warranted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. When you're um, like, <laughs> when I, I, someone sends you like a shit text and you like, can't be bothered to reply, so you just give them three. Double laugh. Three face. laughing face emoji. Three, so I'm a three man personally. Three. I'm a, I'm a so three. So if man. we get three from you, you know if you. You know what I give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm fully tuned out. I always think because you're going ha ha ha. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, there's a bit of logic to it. Method I, to the I madness. Just, I just write ha ha. I, I don't have time if you click. See, on I think that's even. Less, even you give triple, less of a fuck. Triple ha's because two ha's makes you look like yeah. That's actually when you often. You ha-ha. definitely don't give a fuck. Ha 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 ha. Talking about people being off me. Um, <laughs> my beautiful dog Rosie. Oh, Rosie's a sook. She's off She's me, man. Poor Rosie. So, I love it. Come in, little foot's like. I went and made a coffee before. You got the lounge out there. Like the green room, I call it the green room, yeah, yeah. and uh, and Littlefoot's just sitting there, like, come on, Bluey, come and come and sit down next to me, and sit down and head on the legs, and mm. went upstairs to make coffee. Rosie's like, what are you doing in my house? Get out, swine! <laughs> Get out of my house, you peasant! Yeah. Rosie's crook. She's got a thing called Cushing's disease, so it means you too much time on the cushions. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's an overactive pituitary gland, so it's a tumor in the brain. Oh, yeah, so Oh, that's right. not so funny now. Yeah, nice one, Blue. I feel bad for making a joke, <laughs> but anyway, she's not tumor. She's doing all right. We're working out the medication and all that type of stuff, but she has to take uh, two tablets every morning. Now she's very, very sneaky with taking tablets. You wrap it up in food, she finds, she finds it, spit it, it out. I know now. I don't know how intelligent dogs are to the point where they know that I'm giving them uh, medication. But what I do every morning is I give her some food after the medication. She gets that. But I have to get, uh, I have to wear gloves when I'm getting the medication out because it's a hormone sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> so I have to like open her mouth and stick it down her throat. And she has to have it at the same time every day. So I do it at like 8.05 every single day. And I have to like, I have to force it down her throat. <laughs> So I'm worried that she's just waking up every morning and dad walks over and tests a gag You're reflex. You're going to get throat fucked by like dad. That's what she's copping. She's getting like, oh, yeah, dad just sticks his fingers down my throat every single morning at 8.05. Yeah, that would not be a pleasant start to the day. I'd like it, personally. <laughs> I get Jesse to do that most mornings with my uh, vitamin C tablets. Ha-ha. <laughs> 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 ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. The yeah, that thing, just oh, dad's coming to test me gag reflex again. Here he comes. It's awful. I feel terrible. Our uh, we've got a golden retriever called Hansel. Hansel, ha ha Hansel, so hot right now. And uh, Hansel was a sick boy this week. Oh. Jesse's been doing a bit of gardening. Yeah, you know those nice leather, like sort of not full on like gardening gloves. Yeah, I know gloves. And uh, you know gloves. I've sort of heard on your hands. Oh, yes. Yeah, these ones are made of leather. And uh, Jesse's like, you see my gloves? I was like, nah, I fucking haven't. No. She goes, you've been doing any gardening? I was like, do you think I've been doing? Do you think I've been doing? No, I haven't seen your gloves. And With uh, this mustache and goatee? No, no way. No. And uh, and then all of a sudden we're like, oh, the dog looks a bit sick. Oh, <laughs> and he's no. like, he's like limping around. We're like, oh boy, he's eating the gloves. <laughs> so he's like, he struggled out this pool, and we're like, oh. Bit of glove. There's like a finger off one of the gloves. Like, you beauty. Yeah. And then uh, and then he's drinking all this water. Oh, we're going, no. he's going to yak this up. So we're, oh, like, right. we're watching him. We're going, oh, no, it's all right, mate. It's all right. And he was just lounging around. And I finally went, fuck it. He'll be sweet. If he's not, we'll take oh. him to the vet. I'm kicking back on the bed and I hear this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, here we go. <laughs> and he's going. <laughs> 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 it spits up this whole glove. I don't know where the other one is. He's fine now. This was like three days ago. Oh, my God. He's completely fine now. But uh, he's yacked up this whole fucking glove. And me and the missus were like, yeah. Yes. And then he's like, and then it's like nothing happened. He's just like, <laughs> like let's have some biscuits. Man, Goldens and Labrador. They're retarded. They're retarded. They're completely retarded. Mum's Labrador. Uh, they just eat Winnie. everything. Mum will like 
just constantly eats socks. Like, we'll yeah. find them anywhere. Mum dropped a sock when she was getting off the line the other day. Yeah. Boom, gone, yeah. like a fucking shark. Hansel eats tissues. Because oh. Jesse's always got allergies. So there'll be tissues around and Hansel, or like my cummy tissues. Yeah, as sure. Well. Yeah, I was going to say. And he's just always like, you just see him. He's like, what have you got? And he's got a fucking big bundle of tissues in his mouth. Loves cummy tissues. Yeah, don't we all? Maybe not cummy ones. But. Uh, fucking dogs, man. Well, yeah. I've th- I think I've told this story before, but Littlefoot likes eating poo. I mean, who doesn't? So be careful when you kiss him. <laughs> Rosie did this big long turd at mum and dad's one afternoon. He ran and grabbed it and ran away. Do you know? Like a dog with a stick. No, like a dog with, yes, but like a dog with, um, can you Google this, Gabe? Uh, dog with dynamite in its mouth. This is what it reminded me of. Do you remember that from when we were kids? Dog with Down syndrome came up. Dynamite. <laughs> Daniel May. Daniel May. Yeah, just give me a Google image. I gotta, I gotta say, the addition of this TV is fucking the best thing ever. Where's the cartoon? cartoon. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's not actually someone's been blowing up dogs. <laughs> well, this is not what I wanted. Not getting it. There's a particular car. There's like a story, right? Like Wiley Coyote kind of thing. Nah, go back. Get rid of. Just go Dogwood Dynamite. In mouth story. Dogwood Dynamite story. Get rid of your, get rid of your fucking cartoon bit. Oh, Isn't oh. it a cartoon though? No, it was a story when we were kids. It's like an old the old fable about the dog and the jelly knight. <laughs> You're not gonna get it. Yeah, no. no, there it is. Go up, see the one. Which one? The fourth one along. That one. Click that. Clifford the big red dog. <laughs> <laughs> Cl- Clifford the big dead dog. <laughs> anyway, no. Nah. But you know what I mean. So he, ha, runs, ha. He, runs, <laughs> he runs along and then eats it. It's gross. We're all chasing him and screaming. But anyway, we he did the same thing. He he like four hours later starts going oh, oh. He yacked up the turd S- on the carpet at our rental. Spewed this big. Sorry if you owned that rental. Uh, <laughs> spewed this giant fucking pooey vomit. It must have been what it was like after Two Girls One Cup was filmed because oh, it was just pooey oh, vomit oh, I everywhere. Just gag thinking of that pooey vomit, it was disgraceful. Wasn't that a horrendous video? We should watch that on the podcast. We should watch it on Patreon. We should react to it on Patreon. All right, all right. Well, we do have a Patreon something coming up exclusive on Patreon. What do we got? A five, a, a, some type of card game. Yeah, it's called it's called the five second rule. Pretty much, there's like a bunch of um, cards in there, and you have to name like three things within five seconds. Okay. It's pretty oh. funny. Yeah, oh, Gabe's well. really good at coming up with games for us to play on Patreon. Yeah. Well, that last one we played yeah, because he's from Tamworth, and they got there's nothing to do out there. Fuck yeah, all to do it. Sink this and play card <laughs> games. That's pretty much it. So why don't? All right, well, let's do that now. Let's head over to Patreon. Cool. Want to do that? Beautiful. Let's all go, right, ladies and gentlemen. Head over to Patreon. It's a dollar a month. Uh, you 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 get heaps of content. You get the fucking podcast streamed to you every single week. Maybe some merch. Maybe some merch. Extra merch. Yeah, merch is coming too. I've got to get that sorted. It's exciting. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Go and check out the Daily Blue and the Buds Barn and Gabe on uh, the Instagram. Go and check out the uh, something. Oh, we're on TikTok now too. Ken's we're big on, Gabe's been crushing it on TikTok. A couple of nearly million dollar views. Yeah, yeah Gabe's been fucking crushing it. Views are up, baby. Views are Let's up, go. baby. All right, we'll see you next week. Toodle au revoir. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.